25 billion cash surplus. Good. Good. 0.92. Hmm. Maybe. I mean, hell, if I can fight. Hmm. What? Never. Alright. So, Belarus has been authorized against. Like, I figure this would do a lot better, but I still can't understand as to how the fuck we have no higher education students. Like, I just don't get how we get zero. It makes no sense. I have to assume that this is just bugged out or something. Because it just makes no sense. 0 0.03, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Complete collapse as a result. Cool. Alright. That is indeed uh, what implementing an increase to the VAT does. I know that all too well. Yeah. Hmm. No school vacation days. None. Zero. We must forcibly educate people. On everything. If I can do that, hey, why not, right? Free of teachers, no control, yeah. And delicate questions. And it's something. And I have to wonder, is this due to a population issue, perhaps? What I'm seeing, it's possible. Uh, population, there it is. Okay. Because, yeah, I noticed the spike here. The problem is I can't tell what age this is. Birth rate... We have an increased fertility rate, but a reduced birth rate. That's concerning. <laughs> that is rather quite concerning, actually. The decree. All right. All school, all the time. No need for daycare now. Partial dismantlement. As I predict. Excellent. So the Secret Service seem to be doing their job pretty well. Like, we are, uh, we're doing a lot of damage to them. Making thousands of arrests of terrorist organizations. Fellow esteemed citizens. Okay. Jordan, Syria. They've now gone to war. Interesting. That's a good thing we have a refugee camp set up, I suppose. I have a feeling this might come in handy. Alright. Alright, that's exactly as expected. Okay. So we now have a pretty good education system. It's not bad. But, again, still zero higher education students. Which, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. Yep, good luck on that. True some foreign language, yeah, no one actually cares about that. And apparently that was missed. There we are. 16 more billion back into the economy. One of my men. Go for it. Go for the killing blow. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'm starting to think maybe it's because I actually don't have rich people anymore. Oh my god, I might just not have rich people. Fifty-seven point four five billion. Yeah. So... 251.9 billion. Hmm, interesting. 
So that means there are four people paying high bracket taxes. For every person paying the middle bracket tax. Yeah, all right. Okay, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't actually help all that much. But it might start to explain why my tax on large fortunes provides me with almost nothing. The money is just kind of evaporating. Inflation 1.14, okay. You have a decent budget excess. Good. Our Bring me home some tech. Alright. Alright. That's a huge hit to the GDP. Growth rate now minus 15%. Although I think I know why. If I have a look over here. I wager right now if I were to go to wood. Ah yes, that's right. The con the cancellation of that contract. Sell literally everything. We need to we need to make a meeting for this because this is important. Wow, industry is also collapsing. So right now, because of trade agreements uh, going away, everything is pretty much collapsing around us. That's not all that surprising, really. I'm debating if we uh, if we continue with this path. I don't think we do. I think our capitalism is failing us here. Pretty hardcore, I might add. The way I see it, nationalization may be the only way forward. I didn't really try with this, but no dice. I mean, the illiteracy rate is going down, so I'm successfully educating people. But I just have problems with the fact that, uh, you know, I'm actually it's going down pretty quick, I might add. But I just have problems with uh, the fact that I'm basically funding higher education and I have literally zero students in it, so... That is probably for the, for the better. <laughs> because clearly, I don't need it. I'm just saying, that is probably going to be the savior of my budgeting right now. Uh, I don't know. It's tough to say. I don't think we really need this much. Invested in education, really. Perhaps a uh, three-star economic, or education system is good for us except for literacy aids we need to combat that super hardcore and we have teacher training in on it too mm. all right fuck that it literally cost me like nothing how did no, nothing at all. Alright, so that gives us an excess of 12% of the GDP. So, in the face of this, I have a couple of options here. Let's see, with a GDP of 4,800, that means I can go with what? I can get the, G the value add tax to what, 12%? Easily? Yeah be a good place to start. That would be a massive subsidy to purchasing power. Yeah. And we're going to see if that bails out my growth rate. 
which right now is collapsing, so we'll see. Since uh, I can cut investment into higher education as it's proven completely irrelevant, we shall see. We shall see. Extreme poverty worsening. 30%. Yeah, well. Considering the outright collapse of my everything, that's collapsing even harder. Uh... That, that, that's just a bug, yeah? One four sixty two. One four sixty seven. So yeah, it's fine. It's okay right now. Oh well, you have the value added tax. Partial dismantlement, excellent. Another twenty five percent of their organization's been arrested, good. Okay, that's something. So note to self, I'm never trusting this again. This has proven pretty poor for telling me uh, what's going on here. <laughs> because I'm pretty certain that's not my deficit. There's a utility vehicle contract on our sales contract. Love it on. Aborted. Of course it was aborted. We haven't gotten shit at anything. At least they're trying. I give them that. They're doing their best. Unhealthy housing situation. Uh huh. This is an average result. That's concerning that you think that's an average result and you should be fired. Um. At any rate. That's debt. We have a lot of it. Okay. One, two, three, eight, eight. Jesus Christ, that's crumbling. Uh, don't suppose that'll recalculate. Oh, okay, I think I have a budget excess now. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell. <laughs> I, I have no idea if I have a budget excess or not. Disaster in South Sudan. Okay. Alright. So it's clear there is no way to cure the budget, or clear the growth rate at this point. I could do more sales contracts, but that's only going to be a short term patch. Right now, I need to fight inflation. I need to get negative inflation rate and keep a negative inflation rate. I need to deflate the currency. That creates improved purchasing power, and I can use that as a better springboard. That's the problem. I couldn't deflate my currency because of all these contracts. And at this point, I'm willing to go with, I need to deflate my currency. We're now in the negatives, and if I have my way, we will stay in the negatives. Pretty significantly, I might add. The unemployed take to the streets. In addition, there is a good possibility that I will begin mass nationalization of various industries. In particular, I'm looking towards uh, the fuel sector first. Because this thing provides $101 billion in profits. If our economy is going to collapse, and it will eventually bounce back, I fully expect it to. We are now below $4 trillion in GDP. Good. This works. The reality is, however, about... What is that, like 40% I'd think total, maybe? I'm thinking natural gas as well, but that's not on the chart here. Might not be even that big. Uh, we're looking at, like, basically 1.2 trillion is oil. So we'll always have that. We have more GDP thanks to oil than we ever had before. Um, 
work with that. I'm thinking I'm going to crank up taxes again. Yeah. This is the right thing. Hey, look at that. And it's giving me a decent excess. Okay. Alright, I now have an excess of... Okay, either this figure is still wrong, or my GDP is less than 300 billion now. Which, thankfully, it's not. Alright. I'm going to reshove the tax rates up there. Now, the reason I say this is it's about time for us to start nationalizing shit. And if literally the entire everything collapses, that actually makes it pretty favorable for us to start nationalizing. What we need to do, however, is find industrial good that we can produce, that other people demand, that we, you know, can produce at a decent price compared to them. In particular, I use the U.S. for uh, that. I, I use the U.S. as my, I suppose, uh, stick to figure out exactly what I need here. So, let's have a look, shall we? We need to talk about industrial products. Okay. Aluminium is up there. Okay. We produce aluminium pretty cheaply. All right. Electricity. Yeah, electricity's average. I'm thinking water supply network. Yeah, that's extremely expensive around here. All right. Gold. Yeah, that's the problem we've been having with that. Jewelry is okay as well. Like, I really want electrical materials to be a thing, but, I, but the problem is everyone seems to produce too many of them, so. Chemical industry. Nope. It's hard to find something that we can do. Hmm. Okay, clothing, which relies on synthetic fibers. Alright. Alright, I've got a plan. I've got an industry plan. What does synthetic fibers require? Chemical, coal, plastic, water supply, electricity. Yeah, okay, that's way too expensive to do here. But clothing and aluminum are both good things. Yeah. We, we can definitely do good things with aluminum. For that, though, I need to nationalize it. Which, it's dirt cheap to nationalize, so that's perfect. Now, with our excess, I'm going to pump a hundred billion subsidies into it a month. On the plus side, come April 1st, uh, I think we're in good shape. <laughs> so. How goes economic collapse? Right, we have a pretty decent deficit. Or rather, lack thereof. Hey, it seems to have slowed a bit. Good. That's all good to see. <laughs> oh, hey, my economy isn't entirely collapsing all the time anymore. What do you know? Ain't that something? Okay. So, again, let's check currency right here. Inflation is now at minus 8%. That's good. That's good. I'm going to try, like I said, rather than uh, the economic contract way. The decree I'm going to try some alternative ways. All right. So, aluminum. We have the capacity with which to do this, so. I'm going to put a hundred billion into this. Make sure GDP is more than halved. Start by uh, cranking out total workforce. I want... Let's start with 80,000. You guys are getting a decent salary. Good. Do it. Let it be. Pretty sizable uh, subsidy. Like I said, it shouldn't be particularly uh, unprofitable to do here. It's only 65 million. 
in profits. And I'm putting in a hundred billion into this, so we'd need to get, you know, profits to be a hundred billion to make back. Probably won't be like that for a while. It'll take years, if nothing else. But what I'm hoping, nonetheless, is expansion. I just want to see, you know, people get hired. I want to see the production as a percent of worldwide go up. Like, it's water supply network and electricity. Counter espionage is good. I'd like. Yep, we're popular. So sixty-five point four four is the profiting right now. Mm. Hopefully, this will help. The problem is I have no idea how much uh, like it is. All right, so. 1281 is how much I'm spending. Okay. And I'm bringing in, so... Actually, 44% looks about right. Good. Glad that tracker's back working. Kinda. Never trust it, though. Alright. I'm gonna wait for uh, April 1st to clear up any debt I have right now. I mean... Let's see... Yeah, that's about, uh, 260, 70 billion. Hopefully we have a large enough budget surplus for that. Good. So that's a, uh, knockoff on the debt. Which is important. Partial dismantlement. It's true that the bloke. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah. Salary increases, we'll see about it. Put an assessor down, refuse. Alright. So. Are things still in freefall? We've seen, uh, seen a lot of damage, but the good news is it's not falling any further. It's still at 3,800. Okay. Percentage of the world, 0 0.07, so we've got that going. That's increasing. We're hoping. <laughs> A Jordani-Israeli conflict. Oh god, just what I love to hear about. Alright. Yeah, I'm guessing... Yeah, there. that's where our agriculture fell to. Alright, ultimatum at the Security Council. Know all too well about that. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I don't think we're actually shrinking all too much. Um... Compared to what you think. I think it's a lot of our sales contracts expiring. Unfortunately, most of the industry growth, or lack thereof, was probably pretty damaging. But. Yeah. Like, 